We're inside the truck now and we're going to run the truck on generator power. So to start the generator, if it hasn't been run in a while, we recommend that you prime the generator. So I'm going to prime the generator by holding down the bottom of the switch labeled prime. I'm going to do that for between 3 and 15 seconds. If it's been a while since the generator's been run, you want to hold it down for a little bit longer, probably closer to 15. If it's been run recently, you don't have to hold it down for very long. Once that's done, all I have to do is hold down the top of the switch until the generator starts. Once the generator is on and running smoothly, you can let go of the switch. Now that you're plugged into generator power, now you're going to want to go around and make sure all of your appliances are plugged into the correct white outlets. Unplug everything from the green ones and plug them in. For example, now we're running on generator power. We want to make sure that this chest freezer at the back of the truck is going to run with the generator. So we have to unplug it from the shoreline outlet, that's the green one, and plug it back into the white one so it gets power from the actual generator. Okay, what I'm going to show you is the actual breaker panel for the generator. We're on the rear left side of the truck. If you open this door up, you'll see the breaker panel. Everything is labeled correctly in here. So, if you ever need to turn any particular appliance off in the truck, look for the label. So if we ever needed to turn off the driver's side freezer, flip that to the right. It'll even say off and on, so we can turn that back on. If you ever need to kill the entire power from the generator to the truck, that's this large one down here, power in. We can turn that off, and now everything else on the truck is shut off. So at the end of your event, when you're getting ready to leave and you want to turn the generator off, it's very simple. All you have to do is hold down the stop button and you'll hear the generator stop. That's all you have to do. Now to make one point, you can drive the truck with the generator on. There's nothing stopping you from doing that at all. So if you want to keep power to the freezers, you could feel free to run the generator.